So I've been rotating on neurology for three weeks now, and here's my biggest problem with it. I don't have enough of it in residency. There are 48 months in my entire residency. Do you wanna know how many months I spend on neurology? Two. We were on the consult service for two weeks and 30% of the patients for altered mental status or delirium or whatever problem we were consulted on, 30% of them also had psych on board. They, the, all of them lived right in the middle of this Venn diagram between psychiatry and neurology. And, and don't get me wrong, the Venn diagram's pretty big and there's some stuff that's way over on the psych side, like psychodynamic psychotherapy. I would never expect a neurologist to do that. And then way over here, we've got motor neuron disease. Uh, you couldn't be farther from psychiatry. But if it involves the brain, it's the 39th parallel. It's right there. It's it functional neurologic disorders, for example. They have a huge comorbidity with PTSD. So every time the neurologists are wondering if there's like a, a contributing component of trauma or something to the, the functional neurologic disorder, they're like, we should screen for PTSD. But you know who gets one month of psychiatry training their entire residency? The neurologists. And they're doing their best and I, and I really appreciate it. But when they try to screen for those disorders, it's, it's and, and I'm paraphrasing here, the equivalent of ever been traumatized? They just don't have the same kind of training that psychiatrists get in screening for and assessing for trauma or how to talk about trauma or how to dissect trauma with someone in their past. And that's for some reason, really important for some neurologic disorders. Meanwhile, on the psychiatry side, I can talk about trauma all day long with my patients, but the second their arms not moving funny, which, which can be secondary to trauma or, or greatly affected by it. We just go, this is neurologic. That, that it's below the neck. I just want to have better neurologic training. Anyways, I came up with a solution, which is I'm going to use my electives to rotate on neuro more. I just think I need to get more experience with it. We have a lot of like BS um, freebie electives, you know, stuff where we can just study for our boards or um, do fun rotations. And I think I'm just gonna use them to rotate on the neuro service. I was talking with the neuro residents and they said, why would you want to do that? And then I told them and they're like, we honestly can use all the help we can get. So if my program director is cool with it, I think I'll just give it a try.